Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we're back on the Survival Series world, and I have a bit of a doozy for you today. But before we get started, I'm here to announce the next person on the subscriber wall, Brandon Andrews. Congratulations, Brandon, for being subscribed and for just supporting my channel. So again, if you want to be the next person on the spot, all you have to do is be subscribed and comment down below sub wall on my most recent survival series video okay so now let's get right into the video so today is going to be a nether kind of thing i recently watched a video by rage elixir and i saw a really cool hack that you can do with some piglins in the nether you can get practically unlimited trades and i'm here to see if that actually works so either this will be a tremendous waste of time or it'll actually work and I'll get some super valuable resources from it. Okay, so essentially what I'm going to be doing is I have to, first of all, lure piglins, which will be hard, into a 1x2 area. So that's going to be really tough. Then what I have to do is I have to set up a bunch of redstone and such. Once that's all done, I just have to trade something with them. And we should be good to go. So let's go into the nether first and try and find a safe place to uh, build this thing. So we go through here. And we're in. Okay. First, we have to avoid the piglins, if there is any nearby, because we don't want them shooting at us, much like the skeleton would like to. So we're just going to go around. You know, nothing to see here. Putting out these fires. Would this be a good spot? Yeah, I'd say right here. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is go like this why, why are they making noises they're not coming towards me are they stay away he is an enchanted sword that's weird then you need a slab maybe I'll do the slab later or should I do it now no, I should probably do it I'll do it later then you put the glass with one on top like so. Okay. Once I have that part set up, what do I have to do next? Okay, from there, I have to go one, two, three. And this is going to be glass, then one, two, three. And then I believe all it is, is it's then three in the other direction. So it should be then one, two, three. That's easy enough. Okay, just like that. That's fine. Okay. Now that we have that in place, what do we need next? Then we need two repeaters set up. I I'm watching a video as I do this. So one repeater is going to be one way and one's going to be the other way. So we go right here. I think the first one... No, I lied. First one goes this way, second one goes that way. And we're going to need some redstone to connect that with and a lever. So we go one, two, three, four. And then we activate it with a lever like this. That should work. And then. Okay, wait, how do I get it to um, rapid tap? Here we go. There we go. Okay, I got it. Okay, once you have that down, then you just need your sticky piston to go right here. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, but it's going to be lagging. Okay, then we attach our gold block. You need to move, dude. You're in my way. There we go. Okay. The only part left is to get the piglins trapped inside. So now we gotta go up find some piglins without dying. This should be fun. Oh, I got him. I got him in. I got him in. Yes! Okay, he's in. 
So now I think all I have to do is, well, first of all, I have to avoid him. And all I need to do at this point is drop in these gold ingots. If I do that, he should just start giving me a ton of stuff. So if I do that. Okay, he dropped something. What did he drop? Blackstone. That's not at all what I wanted. Let's try this again. Maybe I need another piglin. Maybe that is the, the key here. It is possible that I need another. So what is he going to give me? Oh! Oh, leather! Okay. I will happily take the leather. It's very helpful. Now, I could just sit here and trade with him over and over again. But I really want to see if this hack works. It's supposed to like spit out a ton of valuable items. So here's what I'll do. I will use this and create a bridge over top here. So that he can't escape. And how this is going to work. Alright. Is I'm going to break that. Ow. Ow. I'm going to break this, I'm going to lure someone up and over, and I'm going to go to that side. So I'll be right back. I'm going to go find another piglin. And so now I have to see if I can trade with this guy. You want that? Yeah? Now I'm going to resort to eating some rotten flesh. So what is he going to give me in return? Alright, some obsidian. Let's keep trying. I'm going to keep trying until he gives me something really, really good. I mean, I wouldn't mind any ancient debris or something like that. What did he just give me? Soul sand? I mean, that's not bad. I'm looking for something more, though. What was that? Fire charge, okay. What was that? Nether bricks, okay, so we might be here for a little while until he gives me something really valuable. So now we have a zombie pigman that's stuck in the machine. And, and he, he's going wild. This is quite interesting. I've never seen this happen before. But what I think it's time to do is take my gold block and everything, and I think it's time to go. This this was pretty successful. I didn't get the hack that I was hoping for, but I am now able to trade with these guys. So, okay. You need to break. Break. And I want my gold block back. There we go. Now that will continue to repeat. And if I ever need to trade with that guy, I can always come back. So I think that was a very successful episode, and I will now use these materials uh, as need be. And thanks guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.